Alex Howard here at the Strata Conference in New York City. We're talking here with Roger Margolis. I think I've got that right. Margulis. Margulis. All right. Uh, and I should know that because he's one of my colleagues here at O'Reilly Media. I turn to him when I need to know a lot about the data inside of our company, and as a result, he's got lots of insights about data outside of the company, too. So, Roger, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Really enjoying New York. Um, now, you're here in New York, just like me, uh, to go to this Strata conference, this whole week long of uh, conference about big data and how it's changed in society. Um, what did you see so far this morning that opened your eyes to something new? Well, it's not so much something new. I really like to talk about bringing Agile in. So it's not so much about data, but being Agile with data. I think runs counter to long term trends of slow analysis and stuff. So I think the more that you can bring that kind of energy and kind of speed to this kind of work, that you can kind of co coalesce around uh, answers to questions and or figure out what the next thing you need to investigate in. So I really, really like that. Now, uh, in, the con in the context of being agile, um, today is about introducing some parts of data to business, uh, and specifically how to make uh, data work in different verticals. Um, what are some of the different case studies you heard this morning that caught your eye? Um, I wasn't at enough of it to give a good answer. That. Fair enough, and let, let's broaden it out. Of course, it's live, but we can broaden it out a bit further. Uh, to be fair, Roger's been working pretty hard in the back end here, so uh, no, no harm, no foul. Okay, so more broadly, and I'll just, not so much case studies, but like where machine learning is fitting in to how people are getting it done, and I think that the more that the business people understand that, the more that they'll be able to make good decisions about what's next. And we've been talking about this concept where people are the last mile, but a lot of times the best way to bring in analytics into the business is to kind of enable your people so that they're, um, they understand what they're getting and they know how to interpret what they're getting. And keeping that kind of, uh, like kind of meta design around getting data out to folks so that they need to be informed and trained and understand what's going on and not to over rely on data or undervalue what's there but treat it as a great input into uh, further decision making. And particularly around big data sets, machine learning might be the only way to make sense of it. So as I think as you go through and cycle through what you're hearing from the conference, knowing that machine learning and paying attention to that will be a great thing to do. Regardless of whether you really even know what machine learning is, that isn't important. It's a way to make sense of a lot large data sets in ways that it's hard to otherwise do and that it helps enables people. And if I can bring up one like analogy is that watches Right, are an input that help you figure out how to do your schedule and stuff. Something that we've put in our hand and we all understand how to do it is that making things more like the way a watch tells you the time, uh, making data tell you the things about your environment so that you can then go and make those other decisions. Now, in the context of um, machines, uh, if you're going to make something uh, be machine processed, it has to be machine readable then, right? Yeah. Um, do you think that most companies out there have gotten the gospel on that count? No, but I think they're increasingly knowing they should keep track of things. An example I'll use is ask around whether people have geotagged all everything they're doing. And you'll probably find that they probably aren't. But we all know that, particularly anyone in retail, point of sale is changing a lot. And because of devices like Square and different payment methods and so forth, well, if you aren't geotagging, you might not be able to know where thing A happened versus thing B and be able to analyze it for the future. So I think people really need to be, um, like, bro think broadly and creatively about all the things they should be capturing that maybe they're not. Okay. Well, Roger, thank you very much for this. Uh, look forward to seeing you around this week, and yeah. of course, reading more at Radar when you choose to share your insights there. Great. Thank, thank you so much. You.